we get more and more kids that are diagnosed with childhood cancer. I speak from experience. I have um, I lost a daughter from childhood cancer, and my son has been through uh, treatment twice for childhood cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we have just it has been more than we ever imagined. Yes. We can thank the community so so much for everything that they have done for us. They have really come out and it's really supported us. Well, one thing I know you said it, about forming that support group, and I know that's very important when any when anybody's going through anything, to have a support group of people there for right. you. So I commend you all for building this um, group together to support one another. And we, we never know when any of us may exactly. be going through challenges and, and need that support group. So just so people can understand more about the Childhood Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Group, tell us more about your scope, your mission, purpose, what you do, exactly what you do. Okay, um, you know, back to what you said about awareness, you know, that's very important and that's one thing that the group has been able to do is really promote awareness about childhood cancer. People think that it's rare and it's really not. Right here in Coffee County and a couple of the surrounding areas, we have 14 children that we have supported and are supporting at different stages of their treatment. Mm -hmm. Some are in remission, some have finished their chemotherapy, some are still in treatment. Unfortunately, we have lost two children since our group was formed. Um, they say every um, person you know doesn't know what's going to come to them, and that's mm -hmm. true because you know you think it's a rare occurrence. And we lost my nephew from childhood cancer, and that's how I became involved. Um, the group is there, and it's nice, like Lisa said, because you've got the support of other families who have been through this, and they can talk to each other and help them work through dealing with this. Mm -hmm. um, the big scope of it, we are a nonprofit, by the way. And we have a board that governs our uh, proceedings and things like that. But providing financial assistance is, the, is a big factor. And what we've been able to do, fortunately, by support of the community, is give these families money so they don't have to stress over that and they mm -hmm. can pay attention to the child. Mm -hmm. you know, they're, uh, they have to travel so much to go for treatment and follow-ups. And if they're ill, they have to go for that and mm -hmm. they're not treated here they have to either go to Savannah or Atlanta or Jacksonville so it involves travel sometimes overnight sometimes longer than that yeah uh, we provide them travel money so they don't have to worry about gas and and lodging then also we can provide money that uh, pays their utility bills um, house payments car payments things like that if they have a need so that stress can be taken off of them mm -hmm. yes yeah. and it's been very well received uh, the families can't they're so thankful and we're yes. so we're so blessed to be able to help them do that we're good yeah. well in, in in the event someone is out there listening and said thinking to themselves I need to be a part of that how does someone join and who is it open to oh honey we take anybody <laughs> all you have to do is come to a meet and contact one of us members mm -hmm. we're more than happy to have anybody exactly and anybody that wants to be a part of is welcome to we're welcome to come be a part we have um, meetings on Tuesday nights right now mm -hmm. we have one tomorrow night at uh, Coffee Regional Medical Center um, room on third floor uh, conference room but uh, we would love to have anybody. Okay. So we've got 50 something members, yes. close to 60 mm -hmm. members right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, well good, mm -hmm. good. Uh, Someone asked me too a question about age requirements and I thought that was interesting because you know we have a lot of uh, young people that want to be involved and we do have a need for that. You know, for instance, at the Trojan game, which we're gonna speak about our activities, they need um, hours for their whatever key club whatever and we're more than happy to have them come mm -hmm. or even just to do anything we've had them help us hang ribbons and all kinds of things so. mm -hmm. okay so all kind of ways and, and exactly, activities right. for people exactly. to get involved all ages all ages and all levels okay great so um as we ride through downtown and around town i see a bunch of gold ribbons um, so that tells me there's something going on during the month of September. So share with everyone, what's the significance during the month of September? How does it relate back to your agency? September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. um, the gold ribbon is a symbol for childhood cancer. It's um, like gold is a precious metal mm -hmm. and children are precious to us. Mm -hmm. And so we put our gold ribbons out every September to bring more awareness um, to childhood cancer. And what ev events do you have planned during this month? Oh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that is overwhelmed. We have been really rolling. Well, first of all, you, you know, the gold ribbons and the banners are out, which we yes. started with. We're selling our t-shirts, which Lisa and I have on. And uh, on the back, it has a really neat saying about 
some children want to grow up to be a cowboy, a dancer, or whatever, but our kids just want to be able to find a cure so they can grow up, you know, and mm -hmm. that's profound. Um, we've sold about 1,500 t-shirts, I think. Lots of t-shirts, everybody really loves the t-shirts. So that's in pro progress, and if anyone wants one, we'll be glad to put you in contact with those folks. Um, Ultimate Graphics is doing them, and you can call them, or you can contact one of our board members and get them ordered. Okay, yeah. well, great. And we're selling armbands this year yep. again. Our armbands. Mm -hmm. They've been a real big seller. We actually had to reorder. And, right. and what is on the armband? Kicking, Kicking cancer. cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Very colorful. Okay. Yes. And I know our bands are popular. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now, how um, can the public get involved with what, what, what you're doing? Well, a lot of ways. Like Lisa said, we're always welcome anyone to come join mm -hmm. our group. You know, and the Septembers are really big time. So we have a lot of folks that come and help us during that month to get the events taken care of, and especially at the auction. Right. Um, then we also do a tree lighting at Christmas, which is one of our other big events. And it's not a fundraiser, it's something that we do for the families. But um, that's the main way, and just helping us get the word out there, you know, spreading the word about awareness. Um, that's the big thing that we, you know, have a need for, I think, getting that out there. And then also, you know, we try to provide meals for families when mm -hmm. they need them, um, support them, you know, emotionally. Whatever. Whatever they need, Whatever basically. They need. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned an auction. I know you have, um, mm -hmm. from being in the loop of getting uh, information <laughs> through the city of Douglas, I saw some information on an auction and a mm -hmm. cupcake sale. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, tell us about those two events, um, when they're going to be held, where each one, and just what all is involved with it. Mm -hmm. uh, where our group is very fortunate that we get to sell cupcakes at the homecoming coffee high homecoming game this year okay. um, it's next friday night we'll be selling cupcakes to bring awareness for childhood cancer and we'll be out and about with our t-shirts and stuff um, and then our auction is september the 26th it's on um, two weeks from friday mm -hmm. and uh, it like i said it's grown from a little bitty thing to a really big thing and uh, we have a silent auction and then this year we're following the silent auction with a live auction and we have a bake sale so now where would the auction be held it's at central square gym in, in downtown douglas and what time from nine to six and then the live auction will begin at six thirty. okay okay so any other details about the activities you have planned or the organization itself that you want people the community to be aware of well, uh, as Lisa said on the, at the Trojan game with the cupcakes, we sell a lot of cupcakes. Yes. Uh, we usually don't have a problem getting cupcakes donated, but we will have our t-shirts available that night as well. So if someone wants to buy a t-shirt, we'll be out there probably about 6, 6.30 starting and then selling cupcakes. Where will y'all um, be set up? We're actually the in the concession stand mm -hmm. where the band boosters are, yes. and then on the other end, I think we have a, I'm a not tent. Sure on that a other tent. End, but yeah. Right. Yeah. And, um, as you, far as the bake sale, okay. which Lisa had mentioned, we need cakes. We need lots and lots of cakes. The cakes are really popular. Yes. Um, they they can fly the, the bake sale tied oh, yeah. in with the auction? It is in that you can come in and buy things um, okay. whenever it starts. Then we'll have some specialty cakes that will be auctioned off. Okay. But we'll have some that will just be okay. coming in and, and pay for it and take okay. it with you. So. Okay. But we also have a, a, a raffle. We're having a right, raffle, yeah. selling raffle tickets this year for that. a golf cart. Oh, yes, and they're ten dollars each. Ten dollars. And um, you don't have to be present to win. The drawing will be the night of the auction, the twenty sixth at seven p.m. If I'm not in there, y'all be sure to come out <laughs> of the office and get me for that ticket. For we that will golf find cart. you, yes. in Georgia. I promise, we will find you. <laughs> if you want a ticket, you can either see a board member or South Georgia Business Product has, Products has the tickets. Um, we've sold a lot of tickets actually already. Yes. Okay. Um, I yeah. definitely have a lot going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And for the bake sale, by the way, if anyone wants to donate a cake, they can drop it by Fair Hennessy and Tanner's office by 5 p.m. on that Thursday, which will be the 25th, or they can bring it more into the auction, either right. one. And as far as donating items, uh, likewise, they can either see a board member, drop it by South Georgia Business Products, uh, drop it by Fair Hennessy's office, mm -hmm. con whatever. We'll just contact and we'll, we'll, we'll get, get it. it. We'll yeah. get it. Yeah, That's we'll right. definitely get it. Now, I'm going to ask you this, and forgive me if it's putting you on the spot, but what is your process for screening people, I guess, like all these the fundraisers that you're having uh, to know which families you're going to provide assistance to? Is that a fair question? That or, is a fair question. Um, or, or, you know, I just don't know. How, do, how does someone start that process of being, help, being helped by your agency? There's an application mm -hmm. process. Right. And um, 
you go through the fill out the application it goes through the doctor's office and um, then it's sent down to the prop through the proper channels right, to the board members they vote on they look at it and see that there is a need and we've never had an issue with it not being right. a need and uh, then they approve it and then we get back with the family so okay. that's uh, one of the nonprofit uh, regulations that we have to go through so that's how we handle that understand we've been so. very fortunate and able to give the families uh, money for travel just have our petty cash without them having to go through all that application mm -hmm. process and that's been very successful very good and they really appreciate that because they can just let us know when they're going for a treatment come by get mm -hmm. the money and they've got it so yeah those funds help when people are traveling on the road with like say lodging expense right, food right. gas expense so great we well, all doing a great service and uh, we commend you on it and before you leave today if you would look into the camera give everyone your contact information website or whom okay. to call okay I'll at least give her number first and <laughs> okay if you have any um, questions or you want information about the auction you can call me at 384-7256 and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have um, if you would like to donate a cake to the auction you can call Barbara or Julie at 384-2287 right. and if you know you just you're welcome to call me as well Ginger Diamond 381-8331 um, and like I said, if you can't get any of us, which we always get back with people, it's not a question, but you know, South Georgia Business Products has been very generous in letting us store our items there, and one of those girls can direct you in the right direction as well during this auction time. So, true. All right. Well, Lisa and Ginger, thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. We all right. You Best regards in your endeavors thank that you're you doing. All right. We'll be back with more Douglas on my mind right after this break. Sponsored by Vickers Audio and Glass Tinting, supporting our local programming on WDTV 13. Storage Solutions, etc., locally owned and operated and located at 1010 Bowens Mill Road, southeast in Douglas. Roscoe Allen Jr. and Gubas Modular Buildings in Osceola, Georgia. We proudly support local programming on WDTV 13. 100 Men in Black and Roscoe Allen Company. 100 Men in Black working to bring unity to our community since 2002. If you want your pizza fixed just right, chances are you'll go to Danny's. If you're celebrating a birthday, Holtz is probably fixing the cake you'll put the candles on. And if your wedding ring needs an adjustment, you'll find yourself at Crawford Jewelers. But if it's you who needs fixing, it should definitely happen here. Coffee Regional Medical Center in Douglas, Georgia. We fix things better here. We're back from break, and thanks for continuing to watch Douglas Home of Mind. Joining me on the show now is Danny McCarty, who is the director for the uh, Coffee Regional Medical Center Wellness, Wellness Center. Coffee Regional Medical Center Wellness Center. Service Wellness right? Center and Cardiac so, Rehab. That's it. So um, thanks for being here, and um, I know that you all have your um, health and wellness festival coming up. If you would, tell everyone when and where it is. Okay, the health fair, or health and safety festival as we call it, will be on October the 4th. That's a Saturday morning from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon, and that's at the downtown gymnasiums or what Central we call Square the Central Square Complex. Complex. Okay, great. Now, what all can people expect from the health and wellness festival? Well, I think what most people are coming there is I'm sorry, for the health, health, and safety festival. health and safety festival or yes. the health screens. Uh, you know, we have a lot of health screens during the day and people can come and take part in the health screens and learn a lot about the safety that, that they need to take in their homes and in the community, mm -hmm. as well as, uh, again, all the health screens that we do. Mm -hmm. Now, th they have to sign up in advance for the health screens, and, and how, how much is that, the blood work? Is that one of the health that screens? Is. Well, you know, what? it's a dollar entry fee into the facility, which is mm -hmm. nothing, and then you, the blood work itself will be 30 bucks um, mm -hmm. for the, a full blood analysis, which is probably over $200 
you know, blood screen if you had to pay for it. You have a lot of participants for that, Yeah, don't you? most people come for the blood screen because, you, I mean, you can't get it anywhere else that cheap for $30 mm -hmm. and have a complete analysis done on your blood. And, and, and it's very quick. If you come at 8.30,